Should I do that? <laughs> okay. Ooh, it's gonna be weird singing over this. We are Great Good Fine OK from Brooklyn, New York. And we found new music with Grant Owens. All right, we're here on location for We Found New Music at South by Southwest Music Festival. We're at the Halcyon Coffee House with uh, synth pop band Great Good Fine OK. Hello, guys. Hi, how's it going? Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Uh, so you've had a lot of success with your two recent singles, You're the One and Not Going Home. Uh, a few blog quotes, Kick Kick Snare said, um, You're the One was one of the most infectious tracks of 2013. And uh, Wild Honey Pie said that you were a, a 2014 artist to watch at South by Southwest. So you've had an exciting uh, few months, haven't you? It has been very exciting. Uh, yeah, the crazy thing about it is it all started uh, just as we wrote this, this song, You're the One for Me. And, uh, it came out of such like an organic place, such a uh, no expectation kind of place. Um, sort of, you know, the music was written just out of love for music. The lyrics were written just out of an overflow of emotions of love and vulnerability that had been building up inside. And like, it all came out into this one song. And then just the fact that uh, people are responding to it so positively yeah. has been crazy and exciting and we're just honored to keep making music and we hope that all of our future songs kind of connect people as much as that first one did. Now you're here at uh, South By for the first time. Uh, have you played any shows yet while you're here? Um, we just got here last night. We haven't played shows yet. We're kind of just still getting into the vibe. Um, we have our first show tomorrow and then we have two shows Thursday, two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. So uh, we're welcoming the, the absence of shows today. So tell me a little bit about the band background. How did the band come together? Why don't you tell us? Yeah, so um, you know, John and I had met working on um, a different project. And um, we, had, we were always just kind of talking like, yeah, you know, we should work on some stuff together. We should collaborate, kind of like you do with all the musicians. Um, and I guess, yeah, you know, we had, you know, become friends, whatever, and we hadn't seen each other in a couple months, and we ran into each other on the street, um, and we were like, oh yeah, remember when we talked about that? We, we should, should write a song we together. We should do that. <laughs> so, uh, the, like, the night before we ran into each other, I was working on some music, and I, when I got home that night, I sent it over to him, and that became the first song. Awesome. So. And uh, where did the band name come from? The band name was something that I had brewing in my head for years. You know, I would say it to friends, and, and certain friends would love it, certain friends would hate it. Um, and I, I loved it, I always loved it, so I was just waiting for the right project, the, the right music to put it to that I thought was worthy, and this kind of like was a perfect fit. And it's weird how Great Good Fine OK kind of, in my mind, really symbolizes the music. Uh, each song is such a range of emotions, mm -hmm. it, it, but in such a relatable, succinct way that I think that just those four words kind of represent. Now you guys were playing with a fellow Brooklyn band, Panama, Panama Wedding, who we've featured on the show as well. Um, first of all, uh, what was it like playing with Panama Wedding, and then kind of go into how you reproduce your sound live on stage. Yeah, well, no, it was great to play with Panama Wedding. Peter's a friend of ours, and we're big fans of their music. Um, so, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, and, yeah, I mean, in terms of recreating our sound live, it's sort of been something we've been working hard on for the past, like, three or four months, just trying to figure out, like, logistically and technically how we're going to make that happen. Um, but, yeah, I mean, thankfully we've got a band of really killer musicians and they're all really good friends of ours as well, so that's kind of half of that. Okay. So it's not just two of you on stage? No, it's uh, five of us. Um, we're both, we take uh, performing very seriously. We didn't want to say, um, you know, there's a lot of bands who are just sort of DJs and that's fine and it works for a lot of people. Uh, we wanted it to be a show, uh, so we put together a five-piece band and kind of do everything we can to not only make the music sound as good as it can and, and uh, 
try to make it sound as much like the recordings as we can, but to also give people something to look at. And uh, can't wait for everybody to see it. Your first single was You're the One for Me. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that track, maybe the theme and what it's about? Yeah, um, You're the One for Me uh, is kind of a um, love song, but about the vulnerability of love. About how, um, you know, if you're someone who loves someone who maybe doesn't love you back, your heart's kind of on the line. And the song says, you know, try to leave my heart alone. Uh, meaning, like, you know, you have my heart in your hands, like, I love you, and, uh, and you can do what you want with that. And it also, from the other end, if you're someone who's being loved, then you either love the person back, and you know, there's always this, like, struggle and hardship, even within, like, the amazingness of love. Um, and the song kind of came as like this thing that was building up inside of me that, uh, that Luke's music kind of unleashed. You're the one for me. It could also be a love letter to food as well. Well, yeah, I mean, that's kind of... Actually, what's funny <laughs> is that... So I guess that happened in the car, and, and Eric told Luke the idea and everything, and they were very excited. But when Luke came and told me the idea... He kind of like didn't, <laughs> he left out a lot where he was like, so it's this great idea. So like this girl is like in a park and she's like ha having a picnic. Yeah. And I was like, I don't, what do you, so what happens? I don't get it. And <laughs> when they explained to me that it, that she's making a sandwich. Spoiler and alert. Start, oh yeah, yeah, maybe I shouldn't give it away. <laughs> but when they actually told me the real idea, I was in love with it because A, I love sandwiches and I love um, girls and uh and so the two things combined. <laughs> um, no, yeah, we love the video. It was awesome. It was fun to make. So uh, your, your new single that just recently came out, it's called Not Going Home. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about the theme of that track? You, you want to talk about it, John? I don't <laughs> Throw know. It trying to share the interview. Yeah. Um, yeah, Not Going Home. So, like, I'm very inspired by the idea of time and the idea of home and uh, not going home is kind of um, metaphorically not going home as in like not giving up on what you want in life, not giving up on your dreams, not giving up on your passions, fighting as hard as you can to kind of live the life you want to live and be happy and not going home when things don't work out because things are always not going to work out. Way more times than they work out, things are going to be hard, there's going to be obstacles and it's about always how you handle what happens, not what, what happens to you. Um, so it's kind of about that. Uh, the song actually had kind of a personal meaning to me recently because, uh, and I know this is something that people our age are going through, is my parents recently moved out of my childhood house. So while it was not uh, actually about, you know, a real house, uh, the song kind of like took on a great meaning for me. Awesome. Well, the blogs are loving it. Uh, you're, you're high on the hype charts. What does is, what is, uh, charting on the hype machine mean to you guys? Oh, you know, it's, it's exciting, it's fun. <laughs> um, you know, yeah. we're just on there all day, kind of like hitting refresh, like, are we going to get to the one? Are we going to get there? Yeah, like, it's exciting to be yeah. on there. Like, of course we want to, like, be number one on hype machine, yeah. but it's more of an honor to us to be recognized anywhere than for us to care that much what number we are on the hype machine. Yeah. Like, of course, it's like it's like getting awards. It's so nice. It's such an honor. But at the end of the day, like we're doing this for the love of music, and we would continue doing it if there was nothing like that. Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, the main thing for us is we're just happy that people like the songs because yeah. we love them. So, Thank you guys so much for sitting down with me, and uh, we hope to eventually bring you in the studio for a live set in Laguna Beach, California, when you make it down to the West Coast. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Cool. I think you can do it a couple times. You should definitely do that. You should definitely do that. Uh,